hour, 8 News Now investigators have new information on the A's possible move from Oakland to Las Vegas. We've all been watching and waiting to see if lawmakers come up with the $395 million the A's are asking for from the state and county. 8 News Now investigator Kyle Payne joins us in studio with more details. Kyle. Kirsten, as usual, money is at the center of the drama in Carson City, where any day now we expect to hear how all these logistics with the A's in Clark County and the state will shake out. A source intimately familiar with these negotiations tells 8 News Now that the A's deal will look nothing like the Raiders deal when they moved here from Oakland. In that case, Clark County raised hotel room taxes to pay for the bond for Allegiant Stadium. In this case, the county will take the taxes earned from sales in and around the ballpark to pay off or service those bonds. That's because Governor Joe Lombardo says he won't allow any new taxes to fund the A's new stadium. And that stadium most likely will take over the land where the Tropicana Hotel now stands. But the 8 News Now investigators also learned that the previous land deal the A's struck just a couple weeks ago to take over land adjacent to the Trop owned by Station Casinos was partly done in because Las Vegas' powerful culinary union wouldn't support that site because some of the Station Casinos aren't unionized. The source also tells 8 News Now that the A's are certain to ask the state to waive the live entertainment tax which tax on 9% to the price of concerts and sporting events, an exemption lawmakers have allowed to make it more palatable for the Vegas Golden Knights and Raiders to come to Las Vegas. Kirsten, I did reach out to Red Rock Resorts, which owns Station Casinos and the Culinary Union for comment. The Culinary Union referred me to public statements they've already made over the last month or so. Red Rock had no comment. Back to you. All right, thank you, Kyle. Now, the A's have the lowest payroll in baseball, the worst record, been a few years since they made the playoffs, and out of all the MLB teams, they have the fewest number of fans attending.